Hello. Hello. People of London. So we're now here in the balcony. We're back in the oldy days of music hall. The landowners would live and throw meat and butlers onto the poor. <laughs> But of course it's not like that now because nobody can afford property in South London. <laughs> Anywho, onwards and upwards, uh, one of the facets of the music hall industry is of course uh, the magic act or prestidigitation as they used to call it then. And quite rightly, people who practiced it were burnt at the stake. <laughs> However, things have moved on and now magic is sexy and fabulous and the kind of thing that makes ladies tingle downstairs. If you don't believe me, just look at these two young men coming on the stage now. Please, welcome the curious stylings of Marion Stewart. It's Mr. Barry Jones. Six foot three, two eyes, only one functioning testicle. <laughs> With an emo haircut like that, it's clear to all that Barry's got a MySpace. <laughs> Thing is, though, he only has one friend. Horny for love, 69. <laughs> That's his mum. <laughs> Barry also likes to think of himself as a bit of an artist. Tosser. <laughs> He spends many a lonely night staring at a blank canvas waiting for inspiration to strike. Oh look, he's found a muse. A girl down the front. He throws her the flower, gives her a smile. She flashes Barry her right breast. <laughs> In her mind. Barry takes that inspiration and furiously lets his creativity spill forth onto the page. He draws the most beautiful thing humanity has ever beheld. A circle. Does this circle represent the artist's empty soul? Does it represent the cyclical nature of reality? Or is it just a massive tit? He decides to add some details, some shapes up here, some shading and texture down there. It makes his drawing almost lifelike. <laughs> he now gives his work a name, the usual pretentious name will do, Untitled One or something like that. Oh look, he's calling it Bowling Ball. How enigmatic. Displeased with his design, he covers it up. He spirals downwards into a state of manic depression. He decides to give up drawing and takes up sculpture. Uh, Barry Jones there, also available in straight. <laughs> Please make some noise for King and Queen of the Hermaphrodites, Stuart. <laughs> Five foot eight, arms like Samson, face like broken Rivita crackers. Stuart is the keeper of puzzles, many of which he keeps in his mouth. <coughs> His favourite puzzle of all is the Rubik's Cube. Except when they're all mixed up. That mix of colours just gives Stuart a headache. And although he likes to think himself the keeper of puzzles, he's certainly not the solver of them. For every time he moves the bits around, the puzzle just remains completely mixed up. So he has to cheat. He uses his magic to solve the cube in mid-air. <laughs> Feet so impressive that the girl at the front shows Stuart her right breast. <laughs> Come on, it was worth a try, wasn't it? <laughs> then, overcome with the guilt of using his magic to solve the Rubik's Cube, he pretends the whole thing never happened and he just makes the cube disappear.
Thanks. Uh, right, we're going to need uh, a willing volunteer from the crowd. <laughs> now, we understand it can be quite stressful coming yeah. up here, what with the lights and all the people and uh, the cameras. So, uh, you, sir, you right there, make your way to the stage. Keep your hands where we can see them. Come up on stage. On. Give them a round of applause. Come on, come up the stairs. Keep moving, a bit faster than that. Stand right there. Right, you've got a mobile phone on you. You've got a phone on you? Come on, take it out Face the phone. people. <laughs> take it out or we'll kick your nuts right off. <laughs> yeah, then we'll stamp on your empty scrotum. <laughs> give them your phone or we'll give you a wet willy. <laughs> With a knife. Come on, give it here. What you've just witnessed is a mugging. <laughs> 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 Sorry about that one, victim. But we did it to prove a point. Why didn't you tell them what that point is, Barry? Love to, Stuart. The point is, a pocket, that's not a safe place to keep a mobile phone. Where do you think's the safest place to keep your mobile? Shoes. <laughs> no. It's inside you. Right inside you. You know, behind your skin. Hey, Stuart, that's a pretty nifty shirt you got on today. Thanks. Where'd you get that shirt from? Oh, thank you. Uh, it was Harry's House of Hetero Retro Fashions. <laughs> Just next to Gary's Garage of Gay Garments. The only one that one is, Barry. Was it expensive? It was about four and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> Reasonable. <laughs> this, I, I don't know what you're worrying about. You, you, you don't look pigeon chested. You look all right. Come on, Barry. Just hurry up. Here's how we get your phone into his skin. You ready, Stuart? Oi! Ah! 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 Thanks, buddy. Now your phone is somewhere near my liver. And to show you the precise location of the mobile phone, we've conveniently brought along this X-ray machine. <laughs> Now, before the show started, I drank some Baramil, a special radioactive fluid. It means that your phone should show up on an X-ray picture. I've got this photographic plate. It means that once we've turned the machine on, a picture will develop right here, showing us the exact location of your mobile phone. All right, I'll just take an image now. Oh. <laughs> Barry, I think it's done. Let's have a look. Well, um, looking at that completely real and no way fake picture, <laughs> I can tell that that mobile phone is poking right into your cock. <laughs> no shit. Potential victims, listen up. This is the safest place in the world to keep your phone because no mugger can ever get his hands in it. After all, there is only one way that you can get it out. Do it, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Missed it. <laughs> yeah, I knew I missed it. Pull your arm out. Pull it out. Try again. I, I can't get my arm back. It's it's stuck. What? Stuart, I, I'm I'm gonna have to go forward. Oh God! Oh, oh. Ah, shitty hell! Take it. Is it your phone? It is now. All right. If I can sit down. Yeah. Never again will you be called a victim. Victim. <laughs> Wait, Barry, could you... Could you get out of my stomach now? You're on my bladder and I really need a piss. All right. But... I think we should make a big thing of this. What do you mean? Like a grand finale. Like a grand ending with music and lights. Yeah, one of them. All right. <laughs> Stuart, I'm going to do a backflip. A backflip? Whoa! 